good morning good evening good afternoon whenever you're watching this if this is your first time here what i do on my channel is a lot of hair advice and life advice and if you clicked on today's videos because you're looking for some hair advice so let me tell you girl first things first some housekeeping rules so if you're one of those people who needs to watch a video the whole way through to see if you want to subscribe to someone i don't blame you okay watch this whole video tell me if you're feeling me and give me a subscription and then if you're not feeling me that's fine be generous and leave a like on your way out that's all i ask all right so for today's video i have something to say okay if this is your first time here i am someone who is going through a curly hair journey this is all virgin hair that you're seeing on my head okay i did a big chop a while ago and i've learned some things along the way on my channel i am just here to put you on game put you onto what i've been learning put you onto what i did learn before and all those things so for today's video we're gonna talk about casting okay and this is something if i knew this earlier on girl this would have saved so many problems so many problems so i'm gonna briefly describe describe today what casting is and then if you want a detailed video on what casting is how to cast etc we can do that but for today i'm gonna just put you on game to how casting can change your curly hair game so if you're interested in that keep watching so to put it into simple terms casting is when you basically have all your products on and you're about to diffuse okay this is for my girlies who are diffusers mostly i'm not sure if you can air dry cast i'll get back to you on that but this is for my girlies who diffuse right so this is a big big hack so basically you know what you do you put your products in you're about to diffuse your hair and then what you're diffusing it and now your hair is extra frizzy you're like what the hell happened like what you know whatever you might actually know this tip and you might be doing it right so if you're one of the girlies who are diffusing and you have no frizz you might be casting you well don't even know it so let me just explain casting is simply you know you have your products in your hair and you're about to put that heat on your hair right the air to diffuse your hair so a common diffusing mistake is the girlies will put products in their hair and then just go right into the scalp with the diffuser i should have brought my diffuser for the video they'll just go in like and start diffusing absolutely not don't do that if you want a detailed video on how to diffuse we can do that too i'm here to help you along the way that's a big no-no so with casting what you do is right your hair is drenched in the products water and then what you're gonna do is take that diffuser and i should have brought my you you're gonna grab that diffuser and you're gonna hover you're literally creating a cast what you're doing is you're holding it above your head and i'll post a tiktok right here what it looks like i do post a lot of hair tiktoks and i'm really post a lot of those actually there so if you want to see a lot of tips quick tips every day basically i do be on tiktok but this is what it looks like right so you're gonna hover over your head and what that does is it's drying everything kind of holding it in place and i know you're like okay but who's trying to have crunchy curls and i feel you but that's not what's gonna happen this is actually a result of um casting so casting and air drying and diffusing because i don't fully diffuse my hair is very thick and volumized so i actually have to to get the most out of my hair i have to just let it chill you know what i'm saying i can't just put it full blow up mode and then i only get two days out of it this is actually my hair i'm so like can people stop driving by thanks all right i put the window down because that thing was driving me crazy and i'm sorry if i have a blur going on throughout the video i'm trying to figure it out okay this lens has been giving me the toughest time but if you're new here or if you've been here before you know me and technology like either i get it or i don't or, and then when i get it it'll take me a few months but i will get it but back to the video so yes this is in my hair and it's like most fluffiest okay is what i'm trying to say and when girlies are trying to diffuse that's kind of their goal i feel like that is their goal to either dry their curls or get it looking ba ba boom ba ba bam okay and this is what i do for certain reasons okay and if you feel like you have curls like me we can do a video on that if you want to talk about it but i want my channel to be a place where you get curl tips in general and if you're a girly who has curls like me and i have a very interesting curl pattern curl porosity all of that then this is your safe space as well so i don't want the girlies here with all other curl types to feel like um girl this don't relate to me and you know I've, i it is going to be my duty to research different curl patterns and bring you guys those tips because i really want to help you like i really genuinely do like we be struggling as is with the curls okay but let's go back into this video so casting so basically crunchy curls right this is not what's really gonna happen and the way to avoid that is number one the products you're putting in your hair but all in all let's say you have the products figured out 
whatever. The way that I do it, the order that I do it in, I have my products, my cream, my curly hair gel, sorry, my curly hair milk, curly hair creams, leave-ins first, gel last. Dry it up halfway, let it chill, air dry, and then it starts to look like this, okay? Don't touch it, cause that's why. And why do we wanna cast? Why is casting such a big hack for curly haired girlies, right? Let me tell you. Number one, it reduces the possibility of frizz. I already explained, you know what I'm saying? Like, usually when people are diffusing, they go straight in, messes you up, messes the whole game up for you, and now you're just frizzed up. If you have a lot of hair like me, okay, girly, if you have a lot of hair like me, it's really good for you because the look, you know what I'm saying? You can really get, you can really optimize your results when you do a casting versus just air drying, fully diffusing, and um, a little hack. Obviously, when your curls are frizzy, your curl. Pookie, come here, come here. It's the attitude for me. Come on. Do you want to be on the video? Oh, my little queen. Ah, she's so sweet. Let me show y'all. Hey, Lily. She's so mad. Oh, you sweet little thing. Oh, she's a YouTuber. You say hi to the girls. <laughs> You're done. You're done. All right, I'm back. I had to leave, let my cat out. Anyways, and I'm so sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm working on structure, but the facts are here, okay? So back to casting. <laughs> Again, it helps your diffusing last longer. Literally, last longer. Your hair day, your wash day can go from two days to four days when you do this. I am not kidding. It's so worth it. You know what's really interesting as well? I have noticed that when I cast, it reduces flaking. Um, and sometimes there's this misconception that flaking happens because oh you got cheap gel or you got cheap products girl the truth is either yes you did or you're mixing up products that don't go together it's like science it's like i mean legitimately but like you can't just mix whatever it's kind of like mixing paint colors you can't just mix whatever and then always get a cute color you know what i'm saying so it does take trial and error but when you get it down and if you want my what I do use, I can let you know too. It, I'm not I'm not a gatekeeping queen here. I'm gonna tell you everything you want to know. So I can show you my routine, whatever. But when you have a down pack and you get that casting right, that little cast, I like to call it my little helmet. I like to build my little helmet and then fluff it out. But when you get that helmet fixed and you got no crunchies, no no flaking, you're just like yes, you feel like a bad bitch, truly, honestly. And yeah, guys, that is really all I'm trying to say with this video is. If you haven't casted yet, do that now. If you've been struggling to get defined curls, if you've been struggling with all like overly frizzy curls and you're just like, this is not me, sorry. You know you know when you have a cat, there's just cat hair everywhere. You're just like, this is not me. I'm not feeling confident in my curls. I'm so over this. Like, this is so annoying. Try casting, please try casting. It's so easy, so simple. It does take some time. If you're a girly who has Thicker hair, it does take some time because you know you're gonna sit there hovering for a while. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're gonna sit there hovering for a while. You're gonna be tempted to put that diffuser on your scalp. Don't play. And then if you're a girly with thinner hair, you have to play a little bit with it. You can't because because I think if you have thinner hair, you're you're a girly who and I'm saying girly, but this also applies to men. Okay. I know my men here have, have hair. I know some guys probably have hair like me. Okay, I don't want you guys to feel excluded from the equation because I know so many men struggle with their curly hair routines. Listen up, take some notes today, sir. Okay, but yeah, guys, seriously, like when it comes to girlies with thinner hair, you know, you might want to have to play around with that. You might want to find a YouTuber who has thinner hair because that's really my expertise because I haven't had thin hair and I'm not even boasting about it. Like, trust me, the hair is so freaking annoying. You don't want this life. I, I try to tell my friends all the time who are like, I want thinner, thicker hair. Oh my God, I'm tired of the thin, flat, afro Trust me, trust me. But yeah, we can definitely walk through it. We can learn together. But all in all, all I'm trying to say is if you need to switch some things up, if you're so sick and tired of your hair looking a certain way, try casting today. Please comment down below and let me know if it worked for you. If you, after you watch this, you're like, I'm gonna go cast cause Zan Jesus said to do it. And you know what? I love the results. Come back and say, girl, the way you put me on game, whatever, whatever. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried this already and you know that it does work. Cause don't sit here and tell me it don't work. Cause you know I do. You know it does and the confirmation for me because i used to just do it but i didn't have a name for it a lot of what i learned about curly hair i didn't have a name for it and i didn't know that there were names for it right so i went to the first time ever to this beautiful hair salon okay i don't know if you watched my other video the truth about curly hair what they don't tell you i was just 
kind of sad in the video about the fact that I have a curly hairstyle. Now I do. Now I do. I don't know if she wants me to put on her camera, her business out there, but she is so great. Okay. She is, she booked him. She be booked and busy. So I'm not stopping her business at all by not telling y'all who she is. And I'm like, gatekeep, gatekeeping. All in all, you know, I just want to add permission first, but it was so good. And guys, she put me on game. She did. She did. And it's, that's the thing too, is you can't be someone who's giving hair tips and stuff online and then not go to a hairstylist because you think you're better than them. That's just not how it works, okay? You have to be humble and take the advice that you're given. And for me, you know, she did everything and she put me on game and she, and I was like, girl, why the hell is my hair so dry? I was here, there were all the questions because that's the truth. We all have different curls and all those things. She was putting me on game and you know, she had thinner hair or like thinner, finer hair. And she was like, yeah, I can do a curly cut all I want on my hair, but I, my hair would never look like yours. We can have the same haircut and our hairs can never be the same like it is just so interesting how curls are while i was getting my hair done that day she towards the end gets that diffuser and i'm like oh shoot like this is the time she about to put that diffuser right into my scalp no queen she did the cast and i have been doing a cast before and i said to her i was like what is this called because i do this and she's like this is when you're building a cast like it's so much better than what people usually do when they think you just go right in. And the other fact too is that she told me, you don't even need an expensive diffuser. Now I will say, that Dyson, that Dyson, we can talk about another video, but girl, that, that thing be going in, okay? Yes, when she built that cast, I'm actually put the fin finalized results right here. For the first time I went to her salon, she's so good. Like she had my curls looking like a wig. Okay, and I was actually terrified. I was like, not you having my hair looking fake. It is so good, okay? It was so well done. But all in all, I'm not making this shit up, okay? All I'm, all I'm trying to say is, hairstylists do it. It's a legit thing. You can look up on YouTube, casting, hair cast. It's a thing. The girlies are doing it, and I think you should try it. That's all I'm trying to say. All I'm trying to say is, try casting if you want to switch some things up. Try casting if you are so over your hair looking crazy. Try casting if you feel like it's time. It's time. And if you need details on it, if you want me to walk you through it, we can do that together. Comment down below. Leave whatever you want in the freaking comments at this point, okay? But thank you so much for watching, taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. Trust me. And like I said, if you stay to the end, you're feeling me, girl. You know where that subscription button is? Don't be shy. I'm so fucking annoying, I swear. Hey, right, but thank you guys for watching today's video. Like I said, if you liked it, if you're feeling my vibe, this is the first time you see me, please subscribe. I truly appreciate it. And leave a like, okay? The reason I say leave a like, and if you're not trying to subscribe, that's fine, but leave a like because what it does is helps other people that are looking for my content to see it and helps them, okay? And they probably want to subscribe to me. They probably want my help. It's okay if you're not feeling my help. That's okay if you're like, not this uncertified girl telling me some tips about curls. Like, I understand people have their thing, whatever. If you're not feeling my curl tips, but you're feeling my energy, you're feeling my personality, I have a Zanji Does tea series, and that is also on my channel. You'll just find it there. And I just give you do submission advice okay basically is what it is so you can go see that but because that's not what this video is about but you know i gotta plug myself in but thank you so much for watching today's video again thank you for the 80th time and i'll see you in the next video Ooh.